Hi guys, I've got another video for you, and I know it's been a hot minute since I've been on my channel filming, but, um, you know, I've been sick, so, um, I just had a really bad cold, and it just would not leave me alone, so I'm hoping that now is the end of it, and, um, I should be able to, um, be uploading once a week, once again, so, um, thank you all who have stayed with me, so <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, so I decided to switch things up and maybe do, um, my favorites video on time instead of like at the end of the month, like I normally do. So here goes my favorites for the month of October. Would you believe it? <laughs> so the first one I wanted to talk about is the Stila Soul Palette. And I know it's been around for a while, but I really, really love it. And I was just reaching for these colors lately um this really pretty dark silver and um like this dark plummy brown color with like red glitter in it it's really really nice and i actually have it on with my eye look today and i will list the things that i put down below because there's more than this palette going on but um i just I just love the colors in here, so um, I've really been reaching for it, and I can't help it that it's not one of the newer palettes. I just, I just love it, so it's my favorite. <laughs> and the next one I wanted to talk about is the Versace Eros perfume, and this is the actually this is the Eau de Toilette in the Rollerball. And I'm sorry if I butchered French, but I don't speak it, so um, this is a favorite of mine. I really, really love it. Um, I actually I went online. And I saw a lot of people were giving it bad reviews because um, they said that there were like there was sediment or something forming on the bottom of the bottle. And I had that happen to me too, and I kind of found a solution. So I think the problem is when you're sitting out and the sun is hitting it, that's what causes that. And I've been keeping it in the packaging, which is kind of a first for me because I never keep things in the packaging. But, um, that's helped so there's nothing there it's just the perfume like you want it to be so i would like to um get myself the actual perfume so i think i'm going to treat myself to that um maybe as a belated birthday haul because my birthday um is actually that was in october so um so yes i was sick during my birthday <laughs> it was like <laughs> pretty crazy but it's okay um and the next one um the next one I wanted to talk about is an oldie but goodie at this point um the Milani color statement lipsticks in the color Dolce Caramello and um this is the color it's kind of a, a pinky rosy color with a gold shimmer in it and I just really, really like it. Here's a swatch of it right here. And I just, it's one of those colors I don't have to think when I throw it on. So I was wearing that a lot um, in the month of October. So, and also a little bit in September because I didn't really do a favorites in September. So, um, and then the next one I want to talk about is the, I think it's called the Botanics. Um, it's an eye roll-on. It's one of those anti-puffing, anti-dark um, circle type of rollerball things. And it says all bright with hibiscus. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, so it's got the metal rollerball thing, which is really cooling and nice. And I would call this a favorite just because I've been using it a lot. I don't know... If it's done a whole lot, I mean, I think I still have a tiny bit of puffiness under my eyes, but um, it's not been irritating and it hasn't been drying up my skin. So when I find something better, I will switch. Um, if you have something that you really, really like and that really works for um, puffy eyes, then please recommend it down below. I would appreciate it. But so far, I've been liking this. I actually bought this at Target if you're curious as to where this is available. Um, so yeah, it's one of those funny brands. So I was actually online looking for something else and I found this and it kind of ended up in my cart. So, <laughs> so.
So there's that one. And then the next one is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Setting Powder. Now, I don't know why this is, but for the longest time I thought this was from CoverGirl. So I couldn't find it in the stores and I kept looking at CoverGirl going, I know this exists, why can't I find it? And then I realized it was Maybelline. I was like, oh, that's why. So um, this is in the shade Classic Ivory, number 20. And... I don't know if you could, you can't really see it on my skin, I guess. Um, but I've been using this a lot, and it's really nice, very finely milled, and it also, um, so this is the color. It's kind of like a beigey color, but uh, on camera it looks kind of warm, but it's, to me, it's, I don't know, it comes off as kind of neutral to cool. And so I, I've been liking it, but I don't know if I like the shade match so much. I mean, on my skin, it looks fine. I'm wearing it right now, and you can't tell anything. So I don't know, but I may try to find a better shade just because I like something. This is personal preference. I like something with more of a warmer tone to kind of do further color correcting um, for my under eye dark circles. But, you know, that's a personal preference. And then the next one that I've been enjoying has been the Tarte blush that came in the birthday gift from Sephora. And um, this is in the color Party. I say it that way because there are three A's in the name. So I'm assuming that's the way you say it. <laughs> and this is really, really pretty. It's just like a, it's a dusty pink. But different than the Tarte Exposed color. It's more pink. And I think Exposed is more rosy. But it's also one of those dusty colors, which I really love. And so I guess I can still mention it till the end of the year because they're still giving them out, right? Um, and I'm in October, so I'm usually at the tail end of the birthday gift. So all you in January, this is old news, of course. But I really like that blush, and I've been wearing it in the month of October so much. Um, so, and then the last one I wanted to talk about is the um, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in the color Mood Light. And I just like this for dusting over my face. Um, when I'm not wearing foundation and stuff like that, I just feel like I need a pick-me-up on my face. This does it, and I guess I'll go to this hand. Why not, right? And it, it just, I don't, there's a little luminosity, just very slight, and a little bit of a mauve color that kind of translates to the skin to give it more of a rosiness. So it kind of like wakes up my face if I'm looking like very uh, pale and whatever. So I just, I've been liking that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I really enjoyed coming back here to share it with you guys. And... Um, you can follow me on Facebook at Yapa Real Beauty for updates. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye.